quick look, look, look around. As you can see when we open up the vehicle on the inside, it is very clean and modern and easy, easily laid, lay, laid out. Like all Land Rovers, they seem to have been ahead of the time, like on the range of a classic. Your iPhone fit here perfectly, where in this, even using sat nav and whatnot, fits right in perfectly in between the sat nav and it holds in place so you can see everything quite easy to use and reach in that position. Everything's quite easy laid out, your heated seats, uh, buttons, your climate control is very easy. Uh, automatic uh, climate control there. Um, your stereo system and head unit here. Down here you have your train response. Six speed automatic gearbox um, with your low range and your air suspension. Great rubber Land Rover uh, mats and nice handy cubby holder, twink tw 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 holder. Everything electric and it does work, it just needs powered powered up uh, an auto dimming mirror as well now this being a commercial and it's used for commercially things this is the back of the vehicle um, it is quite messy at the moment we got wellingtons uh, batteries jump leads a tv and whatnot in the back with a handy dog guard here for keeping everything going forward a nice load area under underneath as you see the vehicle itself after even 16 years the bodywork is very tight and straight with no rust coming coming through as you can see in the back here has been a commercial has a great load area and a sitting platform and also if you're at a point to point you can go down and you can stand up here and look out at your horses well as you can see here um, nice wee cubby holes, cubby holes in the side on both sides and uh, as I say it is used for work and stuff so full of a lot of tools and batteries and whatnot but it is a great area you'd be surprised what you can fit in the back of one of these um, a strong tow bar not a detachable one they were recalled back in 2006-2007 and um, we come around here now as you can see um, a nice easy to use steering wheel and uh, automatic lights, steering wheel, everything like like that. But well, I say, now that you've seen the, the vehicle and what it's like, um, let's go over a test drive and see what you think of that. All the best. Now we are heading off for a test drive in the Land Rover Discovery 3. This is a Discovery 3 uh, S SE, so it's not the top spec, but it's not the lowest spec either. Thank God it's not the poverty spec, because I, I just don't see the point in a poverty spec Discovery. It's just, it doesn't make sense, but poverty spec anything doesn't make, make sense. Well, this vehicle here is a 2005 model. It's, it's one of the first off the, uh, off the L line. Um, for a vehicle that's done 160,000 miles, it is running extremely well. Extremely well. Um, like, 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 let, let's see, what does it have? Heated seats, stereo, sat nav, multifunction steering wheel, automatic wipers, automatic lights, um, electric seats, uh, electric windows all, all around, air, air suspension, train response, and everything there works. The only fault I can find with it after all these miles is the air conditioning doesn't work. Now that's just probably a leak in the pipe system which isn't too, too bad, but it doesn't work. Apart from that, it's a very modern, usable uh, 4x4. Uh, it has the 2.7 v, v, V6 unit, which in the European context is the only one to uh, go, go for. The 4.4 uh, 4, 4 petrol, or the 4 litre, the very rare variant, um, just wouldn't suit this car. It just, it's too uneconomical, that would just make it absolutely useless. You just wouldn't drive it, there'd be just no point. Like in America, yes, but here, no, just zero, zero point. Um, so the 2.7 has about 190 horsepower, which is fine. It's a basically, it is a six cylinder version of the V8 which you get in the Range Rover, like the 3.6 and the 4.4 TV8. This is a TV6, so it's just a six cylinder version of that eight, eight, eight cylinder unit. Um, it's a very smooth, refined engine going through a, Z, a ZF six speed gear, gearbox, which on this vehicle too, everything, everything works perfect. You have to look at the options too. What else do you have, say in this price point now of about 5,000, 
quid, what else do you have for that money? You can buy a Land Cruiser, but basically it's base spec, it has nothing, and it's, it has less power, it's less off-road off ability, um, it has less towing ability, and it only has a four-cylinder diesel engine, which is basically very agricultural, it's a tractor unit. This vehicle here is here with a six-cylinder, it's penny low, low, low down grunt for towing. Um, no problem hooking up a trailer towing three, three and a half ton. Like it, it is, it is a great vehicle. Like um, on this vehicle now around it, it's got no rust. Um, it's very solid, very stiff. It feels very modern, even for coming up on what is it, 16 years, year, years old. It's, it's brilliant. Has a sport mode there, and drop it down into third, and away it goes. Like it, it is great going vehicle like what else could you buy the only thing to kind of replace this which is what you could go go for is the likes of a Range Rover a 3.6 um, that's kind of your only real option to come out of this like every other type of you really can get in that price point is is, is just worse it just is not uh, not how worth it the handling well it's a 16 year old car yeah it rolls but it is fine, like it, it, it uh, could be worse. It's got plenty of auxiliaries, like an ox there, I mean an ox here, um, a cigarette lighter here, cigarette, two cigarette lighters here to so use for charging stuff. It's got the hardened card and sound, sound system, which is spot on again. But I feel when I drive this, you don't feel like you're driving something that's this, this, this old or you don't feel you need to put on income support. It um, looks good, like it looks respectable wherever it goes. It could rock up next next to a brand new uh, Discovery and they still look just as respectful as the other. Or if you're down the field on a shoot or towing trailers, like uh, doing a bit of farming or whatever, this this is as perfect as a as a new one. It still looks good. And there's a lot, a lot of cars at this age that you can say the same the same thing thing for really. Now, also, if you're looking at the Discovery as earlier on, the air suspension is a must. If you're doing any bit of towing and want a more comfortable ride, it's needed. For example, a hypothetical situation is you're towing a trailer and you're going into a field and there's a heavy load, load on, the, on the trailer. If you were in, say, a, a traditional or a con, con, conventional uh, off-road vehicle, it'd be sagging at the back um, as the suspension goes down, the springs go, go down with the weight. This being air, air suspension, it'll raise up and keep level at, at, at all times. So therefore, if you're going over ruts or like sleep, steep in, in inclines and whatnot, it won't drag its bottom and bottom out and get stuck. And it's the little things that make that make it better. Every little thing is just, it's it's taught, taught true and it works. Um, a replacement for this vehicle in, a newer vehicle the only thing option i would kind of be looking if you want to replace a discovery now i don't think the discovery 5 is really a replacement for the discovery 5. i think it's gone more into the luxury car market i believe a replacement for this vehicle now would be the uh, new model d d fender i think that is like the best discovery they've ever made like they've really brought it on but that is the like the step forward from 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 this but then again you must ask the question why why would you replace it? Like even with this vehicle now will be coming up, like when I'd be finished with it, I don't think I'll 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 sell it. I think I'll put it in the shed and I'll leave it there because I don't see 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 the point in giving it. You'll get a couple of thousand for it, but it's worth a lot more to you than a couple of thousand euro. Uh, this, as you've seen, being in Ireland, is a, is a commercial version. When it used to be a seven-seater passenger, but now it's commercial, so it's only a, uh, a two-seat variant. This is done for different reasons, but like tax, really, is the reason it is it is it is, it is done. And um, I just would not see the point in selling it. It's cheap to run and cheap to maintain, and it is it's just the replacement cost is just too 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 much. Now, hold on one second. Just coming out there of a 
of a junction for road roadworks. Um, but then again, like the servicing costs of of this Jeep are very, very, very cheap. Um, I bought all the servicing kit: the oil, air, fuel filter, and the pollen filter. For it was thirty-five um, pounds. Sorry, there for concentrating. There's very poor driving going going on all all uh, around me but I bought it for 30, 30 35 pounds um, and that's a very cheap uh, starting point and then you need to buy buy the oil it was about 70 quid and we actually use use a lift and did it our, our, ourselves so service for 70 uh, quid it just after going through its MO, MOT or um, as we call it over here uh, DOE for for commercials and it passed with no ad advisories and it did the same last last year as as well it's just a very good 4x4 and I can't really fault it it's uh, working uh, perfect so anyways I hope you like this review of the Discovery 3 um, SE and I highly recommend that if you are going to buy one do it but put some money aside in case something does go wrong but what I find in practice really if you, if you maintain a vehicle and look after it it'll look after after you as, a, as well so if you like this review please give it a like and sub subscribe plenty more to come come, come along and yeah uh, I hope you like liked it okay bye